Split mode. Um, how does this work? Well, essentially, it works the same way as the split list, but the split valve is open. So our carrier flow is coming in. A portion of this is going down onto the separation column, but a large portion is going out via a split. So as our solvent expands and our compounds evaporate, a proportion of these will now be traveling out the split vent as well as going onto the column. So typical flows in a split injection, we've got our carrier gas inlet, which would be, say, 56 millimeter. We've got a septum purge, which is five millimeter, which is just, to set, like I said, getting rid of things like septum bleed, etc. Coming out of our split vent, we've got 50 millimeter, and then we've got only one millimeter going down our column, which is a tiny percentage of the total flow. All of the flow within the column is controlled by the pressure in the injector. There is no flow restrictors or anything after the inlet, and that's how we control it. So typical liners that we're going to use, typically um, we have a empty activated straight through type liners to allow for these large flows coming around the bottom of the inlet. Typically they'll be de deactivated and depending on the injection solvents, etc., you'd either have glass wall or no glass wall. There are some various other liners out there, like mini lamb liners, which allow us for when we're dealing with really high boiling points or some analytes, or really dirty samples to trap some of that uh, matrix within the inlet and not let it get onto our column. Split ratio is typically expressed as 50 to 1, 100 to 1, 30 to 1, etc. And it's just the split vent flow divided by the column flow. So an example here would be a split vent flow of 100 millimeter and a column flow of 2 millimeter. You have a split ratio of 50 to 1. Um, so only 2% of the actual what you're injecting is going onto the column. And this is really important to realize um, when we're developing sensitivity. 